Now let's get back to our animation of walking character. You can find it in the folder with other samples. Go to Character 2 directory, then to Final, and here it is. Now we can add a background and create a scene like this. Let's go to directory called BG Forest 1. Here is a background image. If we just insert the image directly into the file with character's walk cycle animation, these keyframes, which are responsible for character animation, will hinder us. So I'll show you the other way. Let's close this file without saving changes. Create a new file and insert there the file with character animation. Choose File. Import, go to Character 2, Final. Here it is. So, we have imported an external animation file and it's shown as a group. Now we can animate it as a regular image. At the same time, keyframes of current documents will not affect an animation in the external file. Look! Here, near the canvas parameter, we have waypoints that represent animation in the external file. And they will stay in place if I move the keyframes of current document. Ok, now we have only to add a background. And don't forget to turn off animation mode. Please note, if we import an external animation file, its content won't be copied to the file, it will be linked. It means if you change the external file, then all changes will be automatically propagated to all files which it's linked with. Now let's try to open the group of external file and to change something there. Do you see? It doesn't work. It's because the contents of the group belong to the external file. But we can open the file in a separate tab. And then make our changes. And all changes will be automatically propagated here. And if we have external file opened in separate tab, then we will be able to edit its content right here in this document. Do you see? There are no any errors. One important thing to consider, if you click save button, then only changes of current document will be saved. All other files should be saved separately. This is why there is a special button Save All. It saves all opened files. And since we have started to talk about linked files, I'd like to say a few words about images. Just like as importing external animation files, when we import an image, its content isn't copied into the animation file. Instead, the animation file references the contents from the image file. If we edit original image file, it will be automatically updated in our animation. The only difference is that changes don't happen immediately. We have to close and reopen the animation file to see the changes. Finally, one more thing you have to know when you work with linked files. If you want to transfer your animation to other computer, you'll have to be sure to move all linked files. For image layers, you can see and change the path to the source file here. In this parameter.